Most of water heaters are coming with an anti-freeze uh, function, but the best way to protect your machine from the damages caused by freezing is to drain the water out of the machine, because a lot of um, functions like anti-freeze functions only works when the temperature is above uh, certain degrees. So today I'm going to show you the steps how to drain the water out of the water uh, heater. I have a water heater outside my house. That makes my job a little easier because uh, I don't have to have a bucket to contain the water out of the machine. The first step is to turn off your uh, gas. So I'm going to turn off here. Actually, I'm going to turn off on the main uh, uh, valve as well. So next step is unplug your um, water heater out of the power. So turn off your turn off your water heater first and then unplug it just like I just did. Uh, so unplug it from your power, power supply. Number three, you're going to turn off your water supply. So I'm going to turn off the water cold water supply here. So there's no water will go into my, my machine. Uh, next step, I'm going to turn on my uh, hot water tap. So uh, here's the thing I'm going to do. So the hot water will go out and I release the, uh, the water and also pressure in the pipes. But still, there are a lot of water inside the machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, shut off here, but I'm going to turn uh, I'm gonna open the. Um, there's a drain screw under it. I hope you can see it. Um, there's a drain through here. So what I'm gonna do is actually there are two things I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drain water here and also open the. Uh, open the. Uh, that's a. It's called a uh, inlet water filter here. Um, so what I'm gonna do this is. Um, I'm gonna remove the filter from this. Um, and first thing first, I'm going to take off the drain screw here from the hot water side. So just use your hand and screw out um, like counterclockwise and very nicely. Oh, I just dropped it, but uh, you probably see that there's some water come out here. Uh, not too much because I already released the water, uh, the hot water side. And next, I'm going to open the inlet water screw here. So you may need to, uh, if, I, I don't think my hand can handle this, but you can use a wrench. So I got a wrench here. So what I'm gonna do is make sure you do this nicely because uh, you need to screw this back later. So you can see some water coming out already. Um, all right. Uh, okay, it's getting loose. All right. So, very nicely, counter clockwise, and see you see the water coming out. So if you do it in house, you have to have a, a bucket to contain all of this water. And you see the water get you know uh, smaller and smaller. But the uh, brush, uh, you know the the guy, the owner's guy said that it may take like about ten minutes to drain out of uh, you know the water one hundred percent. So I'm gonna this just leave this alone um, and. Uh, the last thing I would like to mention about this is, of course, you're gonna screw this back, don't lose the parts, right? Because anytime you could use your uh, machine. Uh, so after 10 minutes, just screw this back and uh, use your hand to screw it and uh, very nicely. And drain screw here as well, put them back. And um, of course, you know, to protect your water pipes from the uh, freezing, you also want to drain the uh, water out of your pipes. That's something else I'm probably not going to mention here. Uh, you can do your research here. And by the time, uh, by the next time you would like to use your uh, water heater, uh, you buy, basically you need to turn everything back on, right? So you need to put this uh, in that water screw back, you need to turn this drain screw back, and then you need to turn on your water supply, turn on your hot water supply, actually that's the outlet switch, and, and then turn on your gas and power, um, just just plug in your uh, water heater. So that will be the uh, very basic uh, in the process when you do the uh, you know, drain the water to protect your machine or by next time you need to use your machine. So this is a very typical and a very classic and I think it's a very straightforward process to drain the water to protect your machine. Again, you know, um, turn off your gas, 
turn off the power, unplug the power, turn off your water supply, turn on your hot water um, tap and to release the water out of the, uh, the pipes and also the pressure out of the pipes too. And then, you know, turn, uh, just take out the, uh, screw out the drain screw and straight, uh, screw out the uh, inlet water um, filter, then you're good. You're good to go. So see, the water is almost out of the um, the machine. Um, maybe <laughs> I don't really suggest you to uh, you know shake your machine. This should do the work uh, for you. Okay, that would be it today.